Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I set up the lighting for this cinematic sequence. Откуда приходят идеи? Я понял, что не могу не писать в конце 70-х. Но было одно, но я сам не верил написан. Как стать убедительнее? Неожиданный ракурс, яркий блик света и картина становится яснее. Новые книги, новая встреча, одно верное слово и зерно брошено. И вот первый росток. И вся история связывается в единую ткань. Сегодня другие клавиши отсчитывают ритм моих слов. Любимые книги, музыка, множество новых встреч и общение с друзьями теперь в моем компьютере. С ним мы находим идеи. Вместе. I will cover in detail which light I used, how I modified and how it is important to focus not only on the lighting but also on the combination of lighting and shadows. So let's start. First you need to remember is that control is everything and the most important is to take control over the sunlight in our scene. For that I used shears and curtains that I bought specifically for that shoot. In this way we can block all the unwanted light. Then as the key light right here I use the Forza 300B. It's a bicolor light so I can adjust different temperatures and go from warm to cold temperatures in order to control the look and uh, this helps me to deliver a certain feeling to the video and here you can see the example of it on the left side we see the warm temperature that represents more retro feeling this is our character reminiscing his past he is remembering how he was young before and the warm temperature helps us to deliver this feeling a little bit better and in that scene we see our main character in more of a modern lighting so this is his present here. It's only a little thing as a temperature of the light, but it's already changing dramatically the look and feeling of our video. You can use this light in pair with a softbox. Uh, usually I go for a 90 centimeter softbox. It's pretty big and also it's really fast to set up. But in this case, I decided to go with a bigger diffuser just so I get more area covered with a soft light. So we put our Forza 300B through a diffusion frame and it lits up this part of the main actor's face. It also lits up some props on the desk like a laptop, also the plant, the bird. Now I need to introduce some contrast to our image. And I just put the big flag right outside the frame. Let me change the color here. Hold on. Okay. Just outside the frame right here. I set up the big flag that helps me to eat up all the extra exposure and it introduces the shadows here on the actor's face, also on his shoulders, arms, a little bit on the props as well and of course in the back, all the way in the back, this flag helps me to introduce more shadows and eat up all that extra exposure and now we have more interesting, more dramatic image. And it's really important to remember that you need not only know how to use the lights, but also you need to use sometimes flags in order to eat up all that extra exposure. Of course, this is only in the case you want to have a more dramatic, more contrasty and deeper look. Now you see, because we set up our flag, the character's face here is covered with shadows. Also, this part all the way in the back, everything is shadows too. And somehow we need to introduce more depth to our image. We need to make our actor, our subject pop from the background. And in order to separate him from the background, all I did is I just used a regular silver reflector that helps me to reflect the sunlight, bounce sunlight from the window right into the background. This part here this is all the bounce light from the sunlight that comes through the window and if I remove all these drawings now you can see here that our main character our actor he just pops from the background he's not anymore stuck up against the wall with books he just he's just there and we can clearly see that now we have more deeper frames so this is closer to the camera then we have the guy the actor and the background here and now this is clearly a deeper look and it looks better. Also what's important here guys, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I positioned my actor face in this way. So his shadow part of the face and the body overall facing the camera. So the shadow part is closer to the camera and same with the props. We created this shadow closer to the camera and this helps us to have more depth in our image. So remember that this is really important. Try to shoot into the shadow part of the, you know, actor, props, anything. If you do not have shadow, try to 
create the shadow with the flag or try to move your camera in case you want to have more contrasty and more interesting image. Now to spice up our image even more to make it look even better, I used Forza 60B. It's a bicolor light, same as Forza 300B. You can change the temperature, go from cold temperature to warm temperature. And I used it in pair with projector mount, which allows me to focus or defocus light. And also you can insert the specific gobble filters in order to achieve a special light pattern. And this is really a versatile solution that allows you to go really creative and make really unique lighting patterns in the background, in the foreground, and pretty much anywhere. And by the way, this uh, projector mount comes in a hard shell case and you can fit everything in there. So you can fit Forza 60B, you can fit all the charging power cable solutions, uh, as well as the projector itself. It comes with the gobble filters, all that good stuff. So I really like that because just in one case, you have the access to all these beautiful tools. Now this light is right here on this actor face and also here on the edge of his shoulders. It also leads up a little bit of the props here, this bird, also a little bit of a plant. So all these extra details, these are just little tiny things that help to make your image look maybe like from five to 10% better. It's really barely noticeable, but it helps you to separate the props, the main character from the background. And you can see how these lights help us to make our image better and more interesting. If I just turn the black and white filter on our image, on our frame, then you will see all these little details, all this light contrast. And finally, to get this pattern here on the desk, also here, and in some other frames as well, I used a big giant mirror to reflect the sunlight that comes through the opening in the curtains. And it reflects all the sunlight onto the desk. And you can also see it in some other frames and this helps us to make our image more interesting too. Also guys, I have to mention that it is really important to motivate your lighting. This is why I left out this little opening from the window here and in some other frames as well. And the viewer subconsciously thinks that all this lighting is coming from the window. The actor is not being lit by artificial light sources. And this also makes the image feel more cinematic and the whole set just blends together better. And this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding the lights or anything related to this video too, drop those questions down below in the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel too. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.